G'day guys, I'll just jump straight in. I'm just going to do a couple of knife reviews today. I haven't done any in a while. So this one here is the Real Steel Megalodon uh, 2017. So bought this at the uh, Sydney Knife Show. Believe it or not, this is a knife that I've owned before. And I sold it. And I regretted it. They are really good value. I would nearly go as far as saying that these are one of the best value knives I've seen. So... I guess to sum it up, uh, M390 blade, as you can see, if I can get it to focus, the blade, M390 blade steel, it's just got a satin ground blade, titanium scales, stainless steel clip with a uh, stonewash finish on the handles. Uh, one of the other nice features of this knife, if I can get a little bit of light in there, is if you can see in there inside the handles on the show side are milled out as well so it makes them quite light and the action the action on these is really good for a knife that's worth about I think they're about 240 Australian dollars they're buttery smooth they're, they feel almost like a Shirogorov and for those of you that that might annoy um, I've owned quite a few Shiros so I don't say that lightly or flippantly. They've got a really good action. Um, interesting shape with these sort of um, mill lines on the handle. They've put a little bit more thought into the lock bar machining, which is interesting. It's a little bit of a pocket catcher on the clip there. Yeah, they've got that little section under the clip that's sort of milled out. It's a bit of a funny shape. It's not too bad. The clip works really well, no machining issues on the knife, steel lock bar insert, lock up and everything's good. They run ceramic bearings, I've seen some of these with roller bearings, I've seen some with multi row bearings. This one's just single row bearings, I'm not sure what the go with the different setups on the bearings is, um, whether that's just when they were manufactured. But they all seem to feel pretty much the same. The original one I had was on multi-row ceramic bearings. This one feels exactly the same to me. I can't tell any difference. So not sure why they've done that. A few dimensions. So they're not the slimmest knife. Sort of half inch thick. They're a little bit wider on the pivot if you included that. Reasonably long. So call that 125mm long in the handle. All but a hundred mil blade, three and a half mil blade stock. So the blade's got a pretty much just a distal taper from the the back of the blade all the way to the front. Get that to focus. They um, they cut reasonably well. They're not the thinnest knife behind the edge, but they're certainly not terrible. They're full flat grind all the way to the top. Weight was 123 grams. So anyone that knows knives that are this big knows that 123 grams is pretty good. So if we do a couple of size comparisons, if I line them up on this right here, there's your PM2. As you can see, it's a bit smaller. A little bug out. Opener number seven. So as you can see, it's quite a um, it's quite a long folding knife. But yeah, that action. This is the this is the only folder in this size that I've got left out of my whole lot. So I generally prefer knives that I can EDC a lot easier. This one carries reasonably well. It cuts well, and like I said at the start of the video, they're pretty hard to go past for the value that you get with them if you want a titanium bearing frame lock flipper give these guys a look right on thanks guys see you later